Good morning, guys, and welcome back to the channel. So as you can see on my desk, I do have some beatage going on. Um, I've been playing a little bit, and I will show you guys what I've been doing. Um, but I got a request to make something very specific. So, um, and most of the time when I get very generalized requests, I do try to accommodate. Um, now, I don't necessarily like to accommodate custom orders where they like nitpick every single thing I do because then it's just a lot more work than it needs to be and then it's no fun anymore for either one of us so um but I got a very very generalized request and so I'm pretty excited to do it um I've made one already and I'm actually going to work on another one just in case there's uh some choices some options basically um but before I did that I wanted to show you guys a haul um, so I've never bought from this store before and I'm pretty excited to see what all they have. Um, so I am going to kind of very carefully, I don't really want to put all this stuff away and then dig it all back out. So I'm going to very, very carefully kind of go around, um, my beating here. Um, there we go. That hopefully should be sufficient enough. And if it's not, well, then <laughs> we'll figure it out. Okay, so the place that I went to was, um, it's called Art uh, Artbeads, artbeads.com. And I actually went very specifically for 16 gauge wire. Because um, I was, I'm always doing like crazy things with my jewelry. I'm always trying new things and whatnot and something that I found and I was like, Ooh, I want to try that, but I don't have any 16 gauge wire. And if I do, I don't know I do because it's not labeled. Um, yeah, that happens a lot. So, um, but at the same time, I decided to go ahead and go on to art beads because a couple things, one, I, they had what I was looking for. The biggest thing was um, but also they happened to have what was called a dollar day um and i believe it was multiple days it wasn't just one day so it was multiple days but this is what i initially wanted to get and it was the only place that i could find that had it so i went ahead and i got gold silver and rose gold and it's 15 feet of 16 gauge wire. Now it's a little pricier than I would have liked to have paid, but it's really still not that bad. It was $10 a roll or a package, um, or one coil. So it was 16 or $16. It was 16 gauge, um, but it was $9.99 for the one coil. So like I said, I got silver, gold, and rose gold. Um, I really do enjoy very much working with rose gold, but the findings are a little bit ironically hard to find, uh, at least for me, because I'm still kind of in my world, I'm still very, very new to jewelry making. So, um, so I'm still learning the ins and outs of like where to go to get these things. Um, something that I plan on trying out is um the what's it called it's some box there's quite a few boxes out there i'm pretty sure this place here has a box if you go looking um so i'm just going to kind of move some stuff around real quick and uh that way i can just kind of set this stuff over beside me And that's what I love about these containers, by the way. All my beads are in containers that are similar to this. Either they're like this exactly, or they um, are stackable units, but they are different sizes. Um, and because most of them I got at Joann's, because Joann's had a really big, big storage um, sale. Um, I don't know when exactly. Uh, it was right after Christmas when they had it. But, uh, anyway, I had gotten a bunch of stuff then. Okay. So now I've got space where I can just kind of put this back here. Um, so anyway, um, I had gotten a bunch then. So everything in here was a dollar. 
Uh, this is one strand of check glass, six millimeter dual coated, teal fuchsia fire polished. And I got these, uh, one, because they're very, very cool looking color, but two, they're an interesting shape. I like the shape of them because I have a lot of pearl or pearl type beads, but I don't have a lot of the like interesting shape. So that's those. And I am going to keep them in their bags because of the titles. And all of my beads are in zippy bags anyway. And I don't really care about the writing. As long as the bags aren't dirty, I don't care about the writing. Um, there's, it's really, really cute. I have um, one of the ladies I really enjoy watching. She is so funny because she doesn't like the writing. She doesn't like the writing. She doesn't like stickers. She doesn't like dirty, nothing. She will swap out every single container. And I'm just like, girl, that is a lot of work. Um, but me, I don't, I don't care about the writing because especially if it's going to tell me what it is. And this is Toho bead round 80 silver lined milky lavender. And that's what these guys look like. Aren't those pretty? So I realized after the request for this one particular jewelry item, I need more red in my life. Which I kind of knew that because, um, okay, so I got two of these, the two tubes of the a lilac. Anyway, because um, most of my, my beads are like what I was just showing you with the, the different containers. One container is non-seed beads and one container is seed beads, but it's all like one color family. So these are the lilac. Those are really pretty. Um, but the red is with the yellow. And there's one container for both. And I actually really love this color, um, which you're not picking up at all. It actually, the color of this is more the color of this, which is really funny to me. But it's gold lined crystal rose and it's a 6 0 seed bead. Um, oh, this one's nice baby pink 11 0 seed bead. All of these are a dollar. This one is a transparent orchid 8 0 seed bead. And it really wasn't bad. Um, I don't have the total for you but I mean like I said each one of these was a dollar so but I got as you can see a lot of seed beads because I go through seed beads really quick uh, OPEC ra uh, rainbow lavender this is a 11-0 um, seed bean this one is a lined OPEC light sapphire that is such a pretty green Oh, I love that green. So yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing me make something, um, then just shoot it down in the messages and I will do my best to make it up and stick it up in the shop for you guys. Um, and if you want a special request, then I will do a custom order for you guys. Um, but right now I do have um, one. It's not a custom order, but it is just a request. So I'm going to see what I can do to uh, fill that request for her. And by the time this airs, I'm pretty sure it'll be done. But because I do like with everything I do, I do work pretty fast. Oh, I didn't even tell you what this was. I just showed you what it was. Um, this one is aqua lined yellow. And it's a um, it's a Toho bead cubed one and a half millimeter. I wonder if that's not a 15 now. It says the U.S. dollar is two dollars and seventy-five cents, but I got it for ninety-nine cent. It just says one point five millimeter. This is eleven zero. I guess there's a difference. 
like I said, I'm still a baby when it comes to the beading and such like that. This one is um, opaque white and it is a 6 0 seed bead. And this one is a Gladiola Silen. And it's an 8 0 seed bead. Oh, this one goes with, uh, where'd you go? Oh yeah, I was supposed to be moving these to the other side. That way they weren't in the way. I have a basket over here behind me. I think these, I think I got for with these. Nope, they're different. I feel like I'm going to sneeze, which is why I'm doing this. I don't want to sneeze. <laughs> So this is an amethyst iris luster bead, and it's a two millimeter milky. That is really pretty. Oh my goodness gracious, that is so pretty. And I like sizes like this too, because it'll give you a chance to really get to know your bead without like, without the obligation to buy like a whole bunch. You know what I mean? So whereas this particular strand might be, you know, $8 for a full strand. I have no idea. I'm guessing. But um, whereas it might be $8, you don't have to commit to $8. You can just buy like it's a sample size, basically. Something like this anyway. The seed beads are actually a pretty decent sample size too because you can get all these really cool colors for very inexpensive and i'm going to keep this bag because there's nothing on the bag it's a nice good clean thick bag that i can use to store stuff in uh, to give you an example i have some of my paper flowers in a giant zippy bag like this all right so this one is a frosted transparent medium amethyst this is an 80 seed bead these are all toho This one is a opaque lustered lavender 110 seed bead. Oh, this one's cool. Check that out. That's cool. So this is a rose lined crystal and this is a four mil millimeter tube. And it's a Toho. It's kind of squared though. Oops. I wonder if you guys can see that. Oh my geez. I don't know what they're doing in there. They're being loud. Wait. Okay. So come on. Open the open the door. There we go. All right, so we're just going to take one of these eye pens here. There we go. You might be able to see it now. I learned that trick from my, uh, my little buddy that I found on the YouTubes. Uh, I honestly don't even know her name. Emma. I think her name is Emma, but she's Canadian and she's hilarious. Um, and she, she does beating, she does beating halls, which is actually how I found this place. Um, so I found a bunch of places because of her. Um, I knew about fire mountain, which they were the first place that I looked for the 16 gauge wire. Um, and either they were out or I didn't like their price or something. I don't remember what it was, but uh, this one is suede gold Rosalind fire polished six millimeter. Wow. These are pretty. These are pretty. <sighs> Oh my gosh, look at the glisten. It's glistening. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Okay, so I don't know what's going on right now, but they're being obscenely loud, and I am so sorry if y'all can hear it, because normally they are not this loud. But normally I'm also not recording at 5.30 at night. 
Uh, there's one that just poked his head in. I could see him in my view camera or viewfinder. He's gone now. I think that was my husband, actually. Um, but anyway, this is really pretty. I'm going to have to get more of this one. This is really, really pretty. I love that one. Um, this one here is a silent seafoam green. I love this color. I have quite a bit of this particular color. I love this color. I don't, I never really knew what color it was. Um, cause some people would call it teal. Some people would call it turquoise. Some people, you know, would just call it green mint. Mint is another one, but, um, whatever color this is this place is calling it seafoam uh i love this color it is so pretty uh this one is lined teal or excuse me silver lined teal and it's an 11 seed bead that is really pretty look at that look how dark that is that is so pretty oh, i love that uh, this one is a gilt line aqua opal, and it is an 8-0 seed bead. Ooh, that is really neat. I don't know if y'all can see that in there. The lining of these seed beads is crazy. Oh, you might actually be able to see that. That darkness? Yeah, that's... Oh my gosh, that is insane. Anyway... You guys should go check them out if you're into beading at all. I know that my review are my reviewers, my viewers are kind of all over the place with crafting, which is pretty ironic because so am I. Um, so if you're not into beading, no big deal. Um, but if you are and you like beading yourself, then definitely check these guys out. They um, they have really cool sales sometimes and you can get sample products. Uh, to me, these are kind of sample sizes because I might be able to get one piece of jewelry out of this. Um, but for a dollar, I mean, at least you can play with it and see if you like it. I really like this one too. This one's frosted silver lined Rosalyn. This is kind of like a mix between cream and taupe. It's really pretty. This one is a Silent Robin's Egg Blue, and it is 11-0 seed bead. It's got some purple in it, too, which is really pretty. And last couple ones is this one's Color Lined col uh, Kernel Gray Crystal. Uh, this is a 11-0 seed bead. Oh, look, it does have the... Okay, so I don't necessarily need to keep the zippies on these. I wonder if I can take these off. They might actually come off, and if they do... <gasps> I got new zippy bags! Because the tubes have the information on them. So I don't necessarily need to have the stickers. Alright, so this one is an 8 -O. This is a Toho Bead Hex. So it's another one that's a little bit different not just round and it's an 80 and it's frosted transparent teal oh that is so pretty that is so rich and so dark do you have your information you do okay Bloop. look that look at that that is what all right, so I'm going to have to go through and take all of these off um, definitely more carefully than that so I don't lift the bag in half. Um, but I'm not going to do that on camera because I'm pretty sure that's fairly loud for you guys. So, my bad! I'm sorry! But uh, there's more, just in case uh, you didn't catch the very first thing I showed you, which was that thing, which I'm not sure what that is. I think that's a free gift. And yes, I'm drinking coffee at 5.30. I don't know why I wanted coffee. I think it might have something to do with the fact that my husband had coffee. And this thing is really pretty. Okay? This thing is pretty. Oh, you know what? They have a business card. That is my business card journal. I bought this 
from Miss Gail. Oh, that is cute. I'm going to have to steal that. Okay, so they wrapped it up like a present, put their business card right here, and then tucked this under, and then put their little sticker right there. That's cute. I'm going to have to do that. What? That's super cute. All right. Um, just for you. Okay. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to share that or not. So I covered it up. Um, but I do have a 5% off statewide, no minimum free returns coupon. That's amazing. Uh, this is my business card journal. I got from Miss Gail like a thousand years ago. Actually, I got it like two years ago. Um, and I love this thing and I, it just keeps getting fuller and fuller and fuller because I buy a lot of stuff. I can't help it. I have no control. I told a friend of mine this evening. I was just like, I don't even remember what we were talking about, but I was just like, uh -uh, I ain't buying nothing. Oh no. She suggested something. She suggested that I try something out and I was like, you know, I would, but that means I would have to buy more tools that I don't have. So no, I'm good. She's like, are you on a no spin February? I'm like, no, I don't have that much self control. All right, so that's super cute. That's a really nice, pretty purple. Uh, I know that I'm probably gonna like make a bunch of you cry, but I don't keep tissue paper. I have a bunch of it, and I don't keep it. I should make like little scrap bags for all the things that I don't keep that most people are like, Oh my God, that would be so cool to keep. Okay. So this is one heck of a freebie. Holy crap. First of all, I love this bag. That's a very nice, thick, good size bag. I'm all about this zippy bag, man. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Okay. So this one is a, <clears throat> A two millimeter turquoise Irish luster. It's 50 piece. That is pretty. That is pretty. I might have to get me some of them. I love turquoise. This is a six millimeter peach and pear. Look at that green. <gasps> oh my gosh. These are so cool. Fire polished six millimeter Capri blue luster, 25 piece. Oh my God. I didn't buy these, did I? Because I don't remember buying these. <laughs> oh my gosh. I bought a ton of seed beads, but I don't remember buying any of these. Nope. Check glass. Got that. I have my package, my packing list here and it's seed bead, seed bead, seed bead, seed bead, like it, they're all seed, except for that one. That one's check glass and where I set my coffee down. Um, no, I'll, No, these are all freebies. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Okay, so this one is a fire polished bead, six millimeter Capri Blue Luster. Look at that. You know, that actually might be really good with what I'm working on right now. I need to go back and get me some red. Seriously. Uh, fire polished bead, three millimeter colored trends saturated oh my gosh that is so cool i have no idea what color this is it just says color trends saturated uh this one is the columbia blue luster 50 piece and this one is oh this is three millimeter i'm sorry Super, super tiny. So they're not as, they're, excuse me, they're not as small as seed beads. 
um, because seed beads are typically like um, 1.8 millimeter and under. I think it refers to the size of the hole. Um, I think, I don't know. I don't know anything. I'm still really new. So uh, this one also says uh, fire polish bead, four millimeter color trends saturated. So it doesn't tell me what the color is. It just says that it's color trends saturated. But this one, oh, Nelly Furtado, this is a nice color. So um, let me set that aside there. And oh my gosh, thank you. I know you guys don't watch me because you don't know who I am. But uh, thank you. Um, and let me go over something else with you guys real quick. Um, so this was a very quick, um, I had gotten some stuff from Miss Katie Chiba Five. She had an online uh, YouTube sale. So I got a couple things from her and they are quilted uh, placemats. So this was $2 and it's got little birdies and the birdhouse on it. Um, I'm probably going to just kind of make random stitches all through here because the quilting's already done, but I'm just going to like make random stitches all through here because my idea with this piece is to cut it to pieces, but I can't do that because there's just one crisscross right through the middle. So I'm going to need to stitch it up first. So there's that one. And then there's this one here, which I got because it's well, springy colored Isn't that pretty. I love this one. <clears throat> and then that's the other side. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut this one in half, so the stitching on this one's perfect. And then the last thing that I got from Miss Katie <clears throat> Boy, is um, some ribbon, some trim. So this is actually red, even though it's showing up pink. So I don't know why. Um, but I got 30 yards of these. No, yeah, I got 30 yards of this. So you guys might see some of this in the shop soon, um, but I'm also going to use some of it. So you can't have all of it. Um, so yeah, that's, that's it. And um, I will leave a link to her YouTube as well as to artbeads.com. So you guys can go and check them out. No, I don't have a coupon code for you. Maybe I can ask them and see if maybe they can um, get something for you guys. I'm not sure, but I'll have to contact them and find out. So anyway, until next time, thank you guys so much for watching me and I will start working on this um, request and I, that will probably be in tomorrow's video. So thank you guys so much for watching and until next time. Bye guys.